this out. So here we have all the tools and there's like close to 100 of them there. And some of the first things you might wanna notice is you can actually sort them a bit up here. So if you just want the planning ones, content ones, question ones, intellectual prep, it's kind of a cool word. I'm not really sure, sure what that means. Student support, for example, if you gotta write an IEP, uh, communication, community tools, and then in the admin area. There's also a magic student, which we get more into later. Basically, you can select the tools that you want to go into a dashboard for students to use, but we'll catch on, up on that later. So there's all that, and you can always search for something here. Now, what I like about magic school, or one of the many things I like, is if I go into tongue twisters, for example, and I just want to try it out, but my brain, at least this is my brain, isn't clever enough to immediately think of some ideas, I can hit the exemplar here choose whatever grade I want, and then I can generate it here. So that's cool, it gives me a test of what it's like. So here's a tongue twister regarding marvelous mitosis tongue twisters. Woohoo, fun. Other things to notice is there's an output history. So it shows all the things that you've gone through. So you can see all the stuff that I've gone through here. That'll work for students too, by the way. But again, we'll cover that later on. So yeah, have some fun, click around, explore things, try it, and just get a good feel for it. And then later on, you'll get a chance to use it even more.